a new kind of recycling is taking off on street corners and in markets across the country. Former farmer Rodolfo Segundo is one of many enterprising Venezuelans repairing damaged light bulbs that people used to simply throw away. We as Venezuelans got used to disposing of everything that was broken, but the economic crisis has taught us to recycle and to appreciate a bit more what we have. Segundo uses discarded electronic parts from old radios and televisions to repair the light bulbs. He set up shop in the same street where he once sold fruit and vegetables. He gave up his old line of work because fertilizers and pesticides became increasingly hard to find and profits were low. Now light bulb repair is the biggest source of income for him and his family. And it's a deal for the customers. Buying a new light bulb can cost up to $5, but getting one repaired costs just two cents. And in a country where the minimum wage is worth about $6 a month, that's a huge savings. Saving money to buy something to eat is important. So every time a light bulb gets damaged, I come here to fix it. My salary is not enough to buy a new light bulb. A friend taught Segundo the intricate process of repairing a light bulb. It's a dangerous job. And it requires a steady hand. Each light bulb contains a drop of mercury. If the bulb is broken and the mercury inhaled, it can cause severe damage to the nervous system. Technical schools, like this one in Caracas, are teaching teenagers a range of practical skills, including how to fix light bulbs. In these classes, everyone can learn how to repair a light bulb. You don't need a lot of knowledge about electricity, just common sense. People in the community donate damaged light bulbs for students to use in class. And after they are fixed, the light bulbs are returned at no charge. I'm interested in learning new things. Fixing light bulbs can help me to pay for my school bills. I can also be of help to my community and teach other people. These students know learning a new skill won't solve the economic crisis in Venezuela. But for them and others repairing bulbs across the country, it's a good way to help keep the lights on. Juan Carlos Lamas, TRT World, Caracas.